Hey Tiger Rock Nation, Jason Griffin here with our workout of the week real fast. I got two great helpers today, Kenzie Griffin, Set. Hudson Griffin, Set. all right my kids are here ready to rock and roll, take you guys through some great workouts today. Uh, let's have fun, invite your parents along with you guys and uh, let's have a blast. Hey guys, we're here with some of our warm-up exercises today real fast. The first one, our feet are going to be all the way together like our guys are real fast. And we're going to work on just a side-to-side -side jump. Uh, so we're going to do this for 30 seconds. Ready and go. Side-to-side. -side. Nice and easy. Right side, left side. Get the body good and warmed up. Uh, you can do this for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute. You can challenge yourself and time. Set. Now the next thing you have is if you have anything that you have around you can jump we can do the same exact drill give me some real fast what you got going on hands over one side to side side and time for you and let's see what you got real fast there your turn Set. nice jumps nice jumps good and time awesome. on our warm exercises if you don't have a bag to jump over you got a little brother around you can do the same thing here she goes oh there's a lot of pressure right now don't fall on your brother and time Set. it would only be fair if we didn't switch it out real fast here we go. Nice. Here we go. And it's your turn. Don't jump on this sister. Let's go. Move those feet. Jump. Jump. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Make it closer. Get closer to her. Yes. Oh, that's even better. And time. It would only be fair. Wait, no. It's not it's my turn. Side by side. It would only be fair if the dads got a chance to jump on the kids. <laughs> All right, guys, for our next exercise real fast here, we're gonna have our right leg up real fast. Left hand is gonna be just like ours, and we're gonna switch legs and hands and hold it. Switch legs and hands and hold it. Switch legs, hands and hold it. All right, good job. Now, let's we'll switch, hop, stick it. Switch, hop, stick it. Oh, switch, hop, stick it. And switch, and by yourself, ready to go. Hit it and pause, hit it and pause. Hit it and pause, hit it and pause. Show that control of the body, good core is tucked in, good balance, knees up tight, ready to kick the bad guy. Keep it going, keep it going. And now full speed, ready to go, like you're running. Here we go, legs up, boom, boom, knees up high. Uh-oh, I think her knees are higher. Are your knees higher than his knees are? Let's get it, let's go, let's go. And. All right guys, let's stretch those legs out real fast here. We're gonna put our right leg up and we're gonna be in a nice lunging stretch right now. We're gonna go leaning forward. On this stretch, you wanna make sure that your heel is out farther than your knee is. Really trying to push your hips down, and we're gonna rock back, pull those toes back nice and tight, very good. And we're just gonna keep rocking in and back out. And let's go ahead and change our legs real fast. Yeah. Left leg goes over, hips forward. Remember, same idea, heel farther than my knee is and lean back, toes back, very good. And we're just gonna keep on stretching. I'm right, gonna go right leg out when our right leg is out. Now that we have our hips in the right position, leg goes forward, hands on both sides, and we're gonna go to our full split stretch. This is Hudson's absolute favorite, and Kenzie's favorite also. All right, yeah, I know, I know, I know. And let's go ahead and change the legs and see what kind of balance we have. Oh, the left leg, I'm a little worried right now. I was just kidding, this is my better side. This is your tough one. Want to get that leg straight, make that burn. Make it burn, toes back. And time, my last one, we're gonna go out full split stretch. We're gonna give a little separation here. Ankles back, toes up. Good, legs locked out. Use your weight in your arms to hold your body up and then you're gonna hold that for 30 seconds, maybe a minute. Maybe we'll stay here until they have smoke coming out of their ears. <laughs> and time. We're going to go to our butterfly okay. stretch like this this time. So our legs come inside. We're going to pull our feet together, slide them in nice and tight. Very good. And then our challenge drill fast there. Kids is going to yeah. demonstrate for you. Uh, parents, this is for you guys so you can practice your kids. Use your arm weight the shoulder. One leg steps up. Other leg steps up. She's gonna work and she's just gonna work on pushing my hips all the way to the floor. And the dismount. You stick the landing? Good job. Okay guys, basic technique training real fast. We're gonna work on our fist and some punches. So remember, I'm gonna take my hand, I'm gonna roll once, I'm gonna roll twice, thumb on the outside, goes over my first two knuckles like so. All right guys, sitting, sitting, training. Oh! Punch ready hands out. We go uh, left arm very good, Kenzie. All right, nice straight hands, elbows retracted up. All right, when I count one this time, I'm gonna punch ready. What? Same hand, nice 
here last second, work the wrist rotation, tight hands. Uh, we're looking for speed wobbles right now, which means I don't want to punch and I don't want to wiggle. Ready? And one. Hey! No speed wobbles, fingers tight. Good job. Ready? And two. Hey! Three. Hey! Four. Hey! All right, good job. Give me a double punch this time. Two punches. Ready? One. Hey! Good job. Two. Hey! As you work your double punch, make sure that you're not going halfway and halfway, that your hand returns to the same exact spot. We're going to watch her this time as she does her double punch. If she has both hands, stopping on her hips. Ready? And one. Hey! Nice job. Two. Hey! Good job. Buddy's going to be the example of doing it incorrectly or faster. As he punches, let that one hand not make it all the way back. Double punch. Ready? One. Hey! Notice how his elbows didn't get back in nice and tight. So as you're working those hands, one, two, elbows in nice and tight. And ball right, raise hands. Set! And relax. Fives. Virtual five. Our next basic technique is going to be our low block or fast. Let's we'll step forward to a front stitch. Ready? Up. Okay, good job. Our low blocks cross on top. So right now, our right leg is out in front. So if you would, take your right hand, hug it on top. Take your left arm, hug it underneath. Now, when we do this real fast, because everything in martial arts has a twist on it, we're going to work on that wrist rotation. Your top hand, your low blocking arm, is going to be palm to your neck. Your other hand, the under the retracted hand, is going to be palm outside. We're going to stack our elbows nice and straight. And very good job. We're going to go real slow this time. We're going to drop our hands and low block ready. One. And this hand will be six inches off your knee. We're going to make sure that wrist is nice and straight. So if you look at this, as I do my low block, the same wrist position that I have here was the same wrist position you saw in my punching techniques. Okay? So we're going to go on a two count real fast here. Nice front stances. Bat leg super straight. All right, we're going to hug on one. And we're going to block on two. One. Eight. Good job. So as you're training at home real fast here, as you're counting for them, you'll have a, a two count move. Okay, ready? One's hug. And then at that time, you're going to work the wrist rotation and the wrist rotation and block them two. Two. Eight. Good job. And explode on that second thing. And then same idea. Retracted hands. Ready? One. Arms up. Fingers tight. Elbows there. Palm to our neck. Palm out. And ready? Two. Eight. Good job. Ready? One. Good. This will be palm to our neck. Palm outside. And two. One. Eight. Eight. Good job. Ready? One. Hug. And two. Block. Eight. One. Two. Eight. One. Two. Eight. Caught him off sides. One. Good job. Now, we're going to fix the stance real fast. So, hips got to go forward. Legs going to lock very good. And ready? Two. Eight. Good job. Stand right there in that position. And back to raise hands. Set. We're going to take our basic techniques now real fast and take that to an application for sparring. So, she's going to be in a right back stance. Guard's going to be up. Hands are going to be here. Now, our first one's going to be that low block we just demonstrated, followed by a reverse punch. So, I'm going to go first. We're going to kind of go back and forth. So, my hands are going to be up. I'm going to low block. Arms staying inside. I'm going to reverse punch. And my hands pull right back to position out. Her turn, low block, reverse punch, and my turn, block, and then punch, and then her turn. Now, I want to show you something real fast there. She blocks, ready? Go ahead. A common mistake that a lot of people have is when they low block, they don't want to catch her hands so she doesn't move it. When they low block, they block correctly. When they sparring low block, they turn their hand outside like this. It changes the muscle group, makes the block a lot weaker. So we're going to make sure that as we train, that's the benefit of going slow. And also, as I'm here, elbow's going to be slightly bent, guards inside. This hand pulls up. They change, reverse punch, and then back inside. Now, as we're here, we got to move around a little bit. I get to go first, and she's going to follow me. Here we go. Ready? Low block, counter reverse punch for our sparring drills. Hey team, we're here for our form segments. Our goal is we're gonna isolate the beginning section of our pattern and make that thing absolutely perfect. So I'm starting off with my ready position from here. I'm gonna turn, spot my target, and high block. There's my first technique. My strong strands, I'll step together. I'm gonna aim and prepare. High block again. Eyes are gonna turn. I'm gonna hug, stacking my hands correctly. Palm to my neck, palm out, step together and low block. Since my right leg is going to step, my right arm is going to come in front, palms inside, and double low block. When I do this position, what's going to happen is my feet are going to be as wide as my shoulders are. So I'm going to turn real quickly. When I land and I block, I don't want my feet going outside. I want to go straight down. So I'm going to double low block. Guard comes up. I'm going to pre-pivot, side kick, knife hand strike. This knife hand goes to the body. I'll step. When I step, Palm to my neck, palm out, knife hand strike, head turns, under both palms this time are going to be out, inner form block, two punches to the body, and then return to our ready position. That'll be our form segment. 
We're now here for our kicking segment real fast. So if you begin, remember at the beginning of our workout, when I had one leg up, we worked on that chamber and that tight position, then we would switch our legs. We're gonna hopefully see some replication of that as we do our front kick. So folks, guys, ready? Front hands, their hands are up. All right, good job. So when I count one, we're gonna use the ball of our foot. We're gonna strike with the front kick and you ready? One. Yeah. Nice job, good snap and make a pull back fast. Two. Yeah. Good job, pop that pad. Three. Good. Now, I know the pad's not real, but the pad is talking to you. The louder you hear that snap, the more power is being created. Ready? Four. That was good. Ready? Five. I like how he's holding his hands up really good. Elbows inside. Six. And this will be the last one. We've got to make a big step one. Ready? Seven. Hey, I am an incredibly visual learner, and usually when I visualize something, uh, then it all makes a lot of sense. So hopefully this is going to help you guys out. So uh, as a family, we've been watching the movie Forrest Gump lately, and if you remember when Forrest was running, all of a sudden uh, his leg braces came off and he realized he could fly. So it gave me inspiration, and here it is. So as I unveil... Boom! All right, here we go. We're gonna work on some front kicks. So, uh, position guard's gonna be here. Use a chair, use a table, uh, anything that is fine. So she's gonna lift her leg up, and if you notice right now, we got a really good straight line. Now, what's gonna happen is as she extends the kick, boom, we're gonna see our next straight line as we're inside. So our leg is gonna bend, and she's gonna give me a few of them. So leg out, and extend, boom, make that straight line and retract it back inside. We're gonna make her strong day. Extension, hold that knee up, retraction, and notice how her knee is still there. Extension, retraction, and relax. All right, our last thing is a challenge drill. Now feel free to challenge people in your family. Uh, feel free to tag me, tag anyone across Tiger Rock Nation, and we're gonna play a massive game of Horse. So we'll start you guys off, give you some inspiration, and we're really looking forward to seeing where this is going to go. All right, here we go. Hudson's going to get up first. What's he going to do? All right, he's got a spin kick on, on. All right, there's his kick. All right, so I go to the back. It's Kenzie's turn. If she misses it, she gets a letter. There's pressure on. Oh, she's still there. All right, now it's my turn. If I miss it, I get a letter. I'm not missing that pad. All right, here we go. Now it's, uh, it's going to get this turn real quickly. All right, what is going to be your move? Ready, go. Like that. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, she wants to jump from inside. Can you go for it, girl? Oh, she misses it. So it goes to my turn now. So Hudson's in the back. Kenzie has to hold. All right. Here it is. I got to give Kenzie a letter. Oh, no. Boom. I was going to definitely put a letter R in there. We're looking forward to seeing what you guys have. Uh, Plants and Game of Horse next time. Hey team, our last thing real fast is going to be our mat chat. Uh, one of my favorite quotes real fast, which is really uh, just uh, as far as perfect timing is concerned, is this. It's the things that no one sees that produces the results that everyone wants. And to me, that's such a cool thing right now as we're doing some remote training uh, that right now, no one's going to see you on the mat. They're not going to see your sweat. They're not going to see all of your, all your work that you're putting into it. But when we return to the mat and all of this goes away, then all of a sudden, we're going to see all the work that you put in that nobody else sees is going to give the results that everyone wants. Thank <laughs> you.